I've already talked about uh, ways to block ads while browsing online. Now let's narrow it down to Facebook and see how we can minimize ads here. Unfortunately, it is impossible to fully remove all ads from your news feed. But still, let's try to do something about it, starting with ad blockers. Option one, get an ad blocker. I personally don't mind seeing one or two ads uh, once in a while, but Facebook newsfeed has gone out of hand recently, I must say. And almost all I see there is recommended posts, suggestions, etc. It's basically every other post. But can I see what my friends post or the pages I follow? This is ridiculous. So the simplest solution when you'd like to get rid of online ads is getting an ad blocking program. It can be either in desktop application or browsing extension format. The most popular and the easiest format of course is an extension. If you google it, there are plenty of free extensions. I already have one, probably the most popular ad block. I see there are some ad blockers for Facebook specifically and for Chrome browser which I'm using. So let me throw it in as well to see. Some extensions are out there for Mozilla Firefox, Safari and even Microsoft Edge browsers. Just add your browser name to the search, try a few extensions and you'll see which one suits you. After I got my ad block, I noticed that sponsored ads were no longer appearing in my Facebook feed. Let me refresh it. Yes, no usual ad on the right and seemingly no sponsored ads in the newsfeed. Maybe because of the second extension I've got moments ago, but still plenty of other annoying suggestions. There is also a lot of talk about custom filter lists user can add into ad blockers. For example, I found an article by ad block employee Rana Cassidy that has a section with filter lists examples for Facebook ads so I can try it out. Uh, by the way, curiously enough, ad blocks seem not to notice ads on my Facebook page as it shows zero ads block on this page. Odd. Uh, it also has a feature called hide something on this page so I could click on an item and hide it. But none of these page elements are ads so this is useless. But back to the filter list, so basically I should open ad block options, go to the filter list tab and find custom lists. Then copy any of these URLs with code snippets inside, paste them and click subscribe here. But it failed, I tried all three, not working. This is because Facebook meta is constantly counter tracing any attempts to hide or block their ads. Today a new ad blocker feature, script lists may emerge, tomorrow Facebook shuts it down. There's still a chance that some ad block extension will introduce an upgrade that will trump those ads, who knows. One little yet valid thing I've noticed an ad blocker is able to do in terms of Facebook is to hide those mid video ads when watching short videos that usually auto play as you hover over it. I've seen no ads, so probably similar effect with YouTube. As an extra, you'll definitely enjoy ad-free browsing on any other website. Ad blockers are really effective in this regard. Let me show you. Let's go to, let's say, BuzzFeed. A big ad banner on the top and on the right panel. Scroll down, another large banner, and one more, and so on. Let me visit one more site, say OLX. And here's a huge ad banner used as a page background. Now I'm going to enable ad block and refresh both pages. Ok, Olix now has a simple background, no advertisement. Same with BuzzFeed, although not 100% all ads are hidden. In addition to ad blockers in the form of browser extension, you may also get it as a desktop application the old school way. All major ad blocker products have Windows and or Mac OS versions. I'm using Windows 7, so let me try the respective version of AdGuard, let's say. While it is disabled, here's my Facebook feed. As usual, sponsored ads, blocks at the top and more in the feed when scrolling down. Now basically all I have to do is to enable AdGuard and refresh the page. And to my surprise, almost no ads appear in the feed except a few posts from people and pages I do not follow. I have to say, since AdGuard implements quite radical traffic filtering, 
That is, sending is all through their own DNS. Uh, some pages may even display incorrectly with some elements broken, as we see here. This also causes pages to load longer than usual, such is the drawback. Although I can configure various options, such as automatic language filter, search ads, protection filter, social media filter, stealth mode, servers and protocols and more. Let me refresh the Facebook page one more time to see the effect. Yes, much better and according to the counter, 30 ads have been blocked since I enabled AdGuard. Desktop software is of course not free, for example, the one I used is $30 per year or 80 lifetime, both subscriptions for up to 3 devices. Bottom line, an ad blocker won't hide all your Facebook ads, or even may not hide Facebook ads at all, but it will be trying. Option 2. Adjust ad preferences. So, since we cannot fully remove ads and all those recommended posts on Facebook, another solution is to customize it. That is, to make it less personal, if you don't want advertisers to know a lot about you. Or vice versa, make ads more relevant to you, it depends on your uh, user preference. Go to your account icon in the top right corner, click it and select settings and privacy and then settings. On the page with all the various Facebook settings, find ads from the left panel closer to the bottom. There are the ad preferences that include three tabs, advertisers, ad topics and ad settings. In advertisers you will see the names of companies whose ads have been displayed in your feed. Mine is blank because this is a test account. The first option you'd have here is to select hide ads from certain advertisers. Then in ad topics you can select the exact ad topics you'd like to see less. Advertisers often use this route and it is logical if you sell sportswear you want to show ads to people who are into sports, who are sportsmen themselves, etc. But if you as Facebook user are annoyed with uh, a given topic of ads you can find it and set the see less preference. For example, I don't need ads about God and religion, so I find this topic and select see less. The number of overall ads will remain the same, so I'll see some other ads instead of religious ones. Next, go to ad settings to manage how your user activity data is used by Facebook advertisers. Well, at least to input your preferences on how this should be done, I'd say since Facebook still isn't fully transparent on how they use this data, but they do use it for sure. Anyhow, open every subsection, read carefully and take further actions. Data about your activity from partners. So Facebook has partner websites and receives browsing history from them, especially when users make purchases. The main option you have here is to allow it or not. Yes, if you want relevant ads, no, if you don't want Facebook to get such data on you. But again, we don't know exactly how this works. Categories to search you. That is user profile information, your job, location, relationship status, hobbies, etc. By default, all of them are on to no surprise, but you can disable it one by one. There might be other categories based on your activity, so check there too. Similarly, you might be included in certain audience lists based on your online interactions, so check audience based advertising. Mine is blank, good. As shown off Facebook, this is interesting. So, user data exchange between Facebook and partners has two ends. It gets user browsing data outside to serve ads, but it also hands user activity data on Facebook to its partner websites. If you don't want targeted ads based on your Facebook activity, select not allowed. One more thing I'd like to show is feed preferences. Settings and privacy, feed preferences. There are several options there too that might be helpful. News can set uh, favorites, people or pages to see first in the feed, snooze someone that is to stop seeing their posts temporarily or unfollow and stop seeing their posts and ads permanently. Finally, you always have the last and the most decisive action as disposal. Hide the exact ad or post, say it particularly makes you crazy or something like that. Click the three dots button, top right next to a post or ad and select hide post for this specific one or hide all. 
Uh, same with ads. You can hide ad, hide all ads from this advertiser and even report it to Facebook if you think it's too extreme, sensitive, abusive. Option 3. Get the Opera Browser. Well, one of the solutions, although also far from 100% efficiency, is the Opera Browser. How so? It has a built-in ad blocker both into mobile and desktop versions. It is designed to stop ads and website trackers uh, it could be sort of an extra layer of protection. Just install Opera, it is free by the way, and enable the ad block. It can be done in two places. Here in the top bar on the right one of the icons is called Privacy and Protection, or from Settings, Privacy and Security. There are only two toggles to switch. As I turn on, the browser automatically refreshes and starts displaying the number of ads blocked on a current web page. Just to check if it will find some ads or not, let me scroll through Facebook for a bit. No, still zero. Not sure about this. The ad blocker has just two settings. Manage exceptions and manage lists. The first one is basically a whitelist where you can uh, specify web pages where I don't want ads to be blocked and the letter is for filter lists I've mentioned in the first chapter. Tech savvy users or programmers will be able to utilize this feature by uploading their custom scripts here. Another benefit of Opera is that it also comes with a VPN. Go to settings and enable it. It can also be used to disguise real personal information from advertisers. By default, it is set to optimal location connection and overall includes Americas, Asia and Europe, but without specifying a country or IP address. I'm still curious about ad block efficiency. It is strange that zero ads were found and blocked on Facebook. I have to check on another website say BBC UK. It loads a bit slowly, probably due to VPN, but anyway. Yes, 9 ads and 11 trackers block. So it works. Option 4. Get an ad block app for mobile. Since most users nowadays visit Facebook from their smartphones and mobile devices, one more option we can try is ad blocker apps. First, let me view my profile on Facebook, Lite app I have installed on my Android phone. All the same stuff pretty much. Now I'm opening the Play Store and searching for ad blockers. To be frank, I have already tried a few apps including mobile browsers and I wasn't impressed at all. Let me try some different apps, say Adblock Fast and AdGuard since I've already used its desktop version. Let's start with the second one. AdGuard, you should be aware that while launching, it requires one of two browsers to be on the phone, Yandex or Samsung browser. Without either of those, you won't be able to proceed. So I got the Samsung browser and now I enable AdGuard. Checking the filters, base filter, tracking protection filter, social media filter, all are on, others are off, although annoyances I'd rather enable than search ads, language filters, I leave as is. So now I'm opening my Facebook ad. It's all the same, no ads so far, just suggested for you pages and posts. Next I'm going to check my feed from the Samsung browser and here I see the sponsored ads slip through into my feed. As an alternative, I'm launching the Adblock Fast app and going to my Facebook app again. Ok, no ads so far as I'm scrolling and scrolling and scrolling more. Next I'm checking through the browser too. And there, after a bit of scrolling my feed, I get sponsored ads. So the overall impression I get from my experience with ad blocker mobile ads, including this little part I've shared with you, is that such apps are only partially efficient and perform better when I'm using the Facebook app instead of visiting my uh, page from the browser. Wrap up. And that's it. I'm afraid you won't be able to hide all ads on Facebook due to the aforementioned reasons, but you can take control of your ad preferences and get an ad blocker as an extra which will be quite helpful on other websites. If you've got any more suggestions, please do share in the comments.